This is the latest flagship device from Oppo. It's called the Find X3 Pro. So today we have the latest flagship device from Oppo. This is the Find X3 Pro, the first 1 billion color display device from Oppo. Now I've got the media package in front of me, so it's a slightly fancier unboxing experience, including some extra accessories, starting with this ultra slim case, which you guys know I have a preference for such a thing. There's also a simple white case included in here and a couple of other little special extras because of the version of unboxing that's in front of me here. If you do get the retail package, you will get a free case as well. It's going to be kind of a matte black finish, which you're going to see in a moment here. Now, the big box inside of that, you got a small box. That's the retail box. That's what you would get if you picked up this phone yourself. But they placed it into the larger box in a kind of unique and interesting way. Very satisfying removing it from there. Now the first thing you find inside this box is the case that I mentioned previously. This is just to get you started up. You know, if you're paranoid, worried about potentially scratching your device as soon as you buy it. Slap this case on and you don't worry so much. Of course, there's also a SIM card tool inside the package. The device, which, check out the finish on this, you can see it near the cameras, just super luxurious reflective thing going on. The power brick, this is important, in the box and 65 watt capable, you can get up to 40% of your battery recharged in 10 minutes over USB Type-C. And they also have fast charging for wireless, up to 30 watts if you prefer the convenience of wireless charging. Now look at the design over here, up near the camera. Unlike everything else that's on the market that has a camera hump, let's call it, they got more of a camera ramp. This kind of sculpted look It's a unique take. Now on the front of the device, this is that display that I mentioned, 1 billion colors and also 120 hertz capable, which you know for me is a must. You could knock it back to 60 hertz if you want to save battery life, but I think you'd be crazy to do so. Now let's talk a little bit more about this camera ramp design decision. Actually, let's look at it first. So I don't know about you, but for me, it's got a real futuristic look to it. And it houses this really special functionality, which I haven't experimented with on a smartphone before. I mean, we've seen macro, but this thing is basically a microscope. It's got the ring light on it, so you can actually go up and touch objects and get a whole new perspective on what makes them by essentially having a microscope on your smartphone. <laughs> So you got an ultra wide camera on one end of the spectrum, which is bringing almost everything into frame. This is on the other end of the spectrum, taking everyday items, zoom in all the way in. Now you do need to be close to them, but this does have a zoom on it as well. There's actually a lot of action going on in the camera department, plenty of versatility over there. 50 megapixel wide angle camera on the Sony IMX766 sensor. Another 50 megapixel ultra wide angle camera on the same Sony IMX766 sensor at an f2.2. And then there's a telephoto camera. This is capable of 5x hybrid optical zoom. And if you want to get crazy trying to bring something into frame, you can do up to 20x digital zoom. A little bit more on that micro lens camera. It's three megapixels, but you saw the results at 60 times magnification it kind of does the trick. In fact, you can even do FHD video on the micro lens camera. I don't know, maybe you want to follow an ant around or something like that. <laughs> the front facing camera, 32 megapixels F2.4 with a field of view of 81 degrees. So the selfie camera has plenty of resolution as well. Video all the way up to 4K 
60 frames, a little bit of slow-mo too, all the way up to 480 FPS at 720p. A lot of stabilization features built in there as well. Now let's talk a little bit more about the display. 6.7 inches, 92.7 screen to body ratio. super successful, super powerful company. So people do want to hear something doesn't go right because things go right so often. So 1 billion colors. Yeah, there's some marketing in there. All I can say is sitting here looking at the display, it's got a lot of pop to it. Very vibrant, wonderful to look at. And the fact that it occupies so much of the body of the device, kind of having this almost waterfall effect on each side of it with a tiny little hole punch up in the corner. I think it does definitely create a premium kind of package and a premium feel. I mean, all the materials here are what you'd expect to find in this particular category. Uh, so yeah, 3216 by 1440, that's QHD+. 120 hertz, you can knock it back to 60. 240 hertz on the touch sampling rate. Gamers are going to like that. And yes, of course, you can game on such a thing because you have a Snapdragon 888 and you got the Adreno GPU that you're looking for. It's all baked in. You got a pixel density 525 ppi i do not think you are going to mind looking at this particular device now here's a little demonstration to help you understand the importance of a high refresh in this case 120 it is so much smoother it's so smooth we had to we had to slow things down in order to give you an appreciation watching through this video upload but i promise you if you haven't tried it yet you will immediately sense the difference just as I have. Now let's talk a little bit more about the battery and the charging. It's a two series connected cell battery setup, 2200 milliamp hours and 2250 milliamp hours. Super VOOC capable, so two cells totaling 4500 milliamp hours together. Now this is kind of an interesting play. They didn't go for the top spec in the segment, Instead, they focused a little bit more on keeping the device slender, and it does feel smaller to me in the hand when compared to some of the competition. So you end up with something a little bit more slim at the compromise of the biggest battery in the game. Granted, with the quick charge tech, 40% of your battery life in like 10 minutes, you just might be able to live with it. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. It's the latest from Oppo. This is the Find X3 Pro.